hey, it's me, Destiny. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So it might surprise you to know that we have hockey at the University that I went to. Anyway, today we're going to talk about the physics of a slap shot to get smarter every day. <laughs> no way, you're missing a tooth? That's so stereotypical hockey player. Can I see it? When did you, when did you get your tooth knocked out? Three years ago. Three what? Three half years ago. That's awesome, dude. Is it like a rite of passage that you have to lose a tooth in order to play hockey? No, I mean, uh, just the good players? Just the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hit the puck and record it with a phantom, which I have set up over there, and then we're gonna see exactly what's happening. I've heard that you don't actually hit the puck first, but I wanna look at the dynamics of how that happens. But first, let's look at your stick here. What kind of stick is that? Is it a, is it a wooden stick? No, it's a one-piece composite. It's yeah? Yeah, graphite. Mine's an 85 flex. I like mine a little whippier. Whippier is yeah. 85. I love that word. Yeah, well. Can you uh, say that as much as possible during this video? Yeah, I can say it. It's a little more whip uh, to it. You can get a stiffer one for the bigger guys. I don't understand how you can hit that hard. That's crazy. I respect goalies a lot more now. Okay, let's get the phantom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Alright, bring it. Okay, so we got the close-up shot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition to a wide shot. We're gonna keep the Phantom at 3,200 frames per second, but the goal here, the data we're looking for, is we're gonna try to preload that stick and get the entire flex, or the deformation of the stick, while he goes in for the slap shot. The slap shot is the fastest shot in hockey. So what's the advantage of having a flexible stick? Let's check out the high speed. The player stores potential energy in the stick by striking the ice before he hits the puck. Now this seems like it would waste energy and slow down his shot, but it actually does the opposite. By gradually releasing that potential energy stored up in the stick like a slingshot, the player can make the puck go even faster than he can swing the stick. Look at the overflex here as the stick outruns the player's hands. This means that a good slap shot is all about timing. And not just the timing about where you're going to hit the ice, but also knowing how long it takes that stored up energy to whip out of your stick. So to understand the flexibility of a hockey stick, we're here with my friend, Dr. Jeff Evans. We are friends, correct? Can I say that? We are friends. We are friends. I once tried to convince him to shoot a coyote in his pasture because I thought, no, it wasn't a coyote. We thought it was a coyote. He thought it was a coyote, but it was a donkey. It was a donkey. It was a donkey. You break things, right? We do. We break things by pushing, pulling, twisting, fatigue. We wear them out. We break them. Okay, some bonus footage. We're going to crush a hockey puck here. Check it out. 80,000 pounds on a hockey puck. One interesting thing I discovered while doing this is hockey players often have no idea what the flex number on their stick means. If you support a stick on both sides here and you hang weights right in the center, that flex number that's on every single hockey stick is an indication for how much weight it takes to deflect a hockey stick one inch. The problem is often manufacturers don't do it correctly so we have all these sticks from different manufacturers and Dr. Evans is going to take the data as I apply weight to the stick and we're going to measure the actual flex number against the claimed flex number. We hung caliber weights from four different sticks, each with a different flex number. Then we recorded the deflection values for each stick and generated a curve representing its stiffness. The flex value is the weight in pounds required to deflect the stick one inch. The numbers we measured, however, were much lower than the manufacturer's numbers, but this is probably because the sticks were used and they lost their stiffness over time. Check it out though, real science. Let's take a closer look though. A beam deflection equation can be used to model a hockey stick's flex. This force represents the pivot hand, and this force represents the stick hitting the ice. The maximum displacement happens right here in the middle where the player's hand pushes on the stick. 
In engineering, we use two types of diagrams called shear and moment diagrams to understand the stresses on the inside of a beam. So if our hockey player is strong enough to actually break a stick while doing a slap shot, according to science, where exactly along the stick is it going to break? So where do you think it broke relative to where your hand was? Oh, huh? Probably in it. Like you think it was in your hand when yeah. it broke? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, let's make sure I got it on slow-mo. Did you see that? There were two types of loading that added up to break the stick. First he flexed it on the ice, but it wasn't until he tried to actually accelerate the puck that it kicked it up over its maximum stress limit and actually broke the stick. That is awesome. So thanks for sticking with me as I try to explain a sport I don't truly understand. If you'd like to help Smarter every day and help me do crazy stuff like this, you can support the sponsor, which is audible.com. Go to audible.com slash smarter. You can get a free audio book. They've got thousands to choose from. Get whatever you want. You can do a free trial, free book, free trial. You can download it and listen to it, and if you don't like it, you can return it and get another one. It's a pretty good deal. Anyway, I used it long before they asked to sponsor Smarter Every Day, so I'm more than happy to suggest it to you. Audible.com slash smarter. I get credit for you checking out Audible, and it helps Smarter Every Day move forward and do more crazy stuff. Anyway, I'm Destin. You get Smarter Every Day. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Before and after. It was a smashing good time. <laughs> you want more whippiness or more stiffiness? Oh, all in, all in, all in preference. It's for science. I need a new stick.